If you don't have subscribed my channel, click on subscribe button below the video and also click on the bell button to get all notifications of new videos. Hey friends, you're watching Tips and Tricks Hitta and this is Zubair and here you have seen this cool effect that you can use in the different pages of your slide that use page like photo and then divide it into four slides. So as you have seen this was really cool effect in this morph as you can see here. So I am going to tell you how to make this. So to make this firstly open a new file here in a layout click and make it blank and now firstly you want a really good photo that have a good resolution so that when we make that bigger so it will not show as a blur. So I have a photo this was the photo I am going to drag it down. And now firstly make the zoom out and here you can see this photo is correctly fit to this whole slide. Now I'm going to zoom out something more and now select this photo and duplicate it by Ctrl D and make it here. And now select this photo and hold down shift key and make it bigger and make it width so that it will cover the other photo now delete this other photo and now come here and here select the first slide and duplicate it by ctrl d and now here make it at the right corner make your photo at the right corner of the slide and now once again duplicate it the second one and now here select this photo come to format and here the crop and here crop it and now make it here and now once again duplicate it and now make it at the left corner and now I'm going to animate them put the animation on them on the first slide you can use any transition that I'm going to use here the flash now on a second this slide will come from the right side so here use the push and here the effect from right now then this one use push and this will come from down means from bottom and this will push and here this will come from left and now the another slide in which the full photo will appear actually that I have used that contains a morph effect it was powerpoint 2016 and here in my powerpoint 2016 here the morph is not visible it is deactivated so you can use the morph effect in this and don't panic you can also use another effect in place of morph in the other versions of powerpoint that 2010 and 7 13 so firstly you have to slide down to your video you're watching and go to description and there was download link and download the powerpoint this was the powerpoint that you will download and here in this powerpoint here the all slide of this already contains the morph effect here you can see by transition here you can see that the morph has already applied and it works here i am going to play it and here you can see that it works like as morph as a morph has been applied so firstly select any one of this slide copy this slide and come to this and here paste it and now control a and delete now come to first slide here the full photo was there now copy this one and paste in the fifth slide and now make it fit to the slide and now come to first animation means 
come to first slide and here the transition here remove this mark and here take this and make it 0.9 and now select 2 3 and 4 here untick this and after 0.5 seconds and at the last untick both and now it is ready and if that was your powerpoint 2010 7 you can use here a transition effect that was here the zoom that zoom and here make this effect from and out so that it will same look as the morphing effect but it will something change as this was a new version and it contains a new effect so something will change but it will look like same as that so if you have powerpoint 7 or 10 you can use this zoom effect and here the effect option out or if you have powerpoint 16 and that is appearing the morph option you can directly use that or if not appearing you can use my powerpoint that you will get in the description box so here i am going to now play this here you can see that left and down then and here this morph so you can use it in many ways in your powerpoint so this is a really a nice effect and very easy to make now i'm going to end my video so that's all for today and please subscribe my channel like my videos and also click on the bell button when you subscribe so that you will get all notifications of new effects of powerpoint and also share these powerpoint videos to your other friends and relatives who want to know about the powerpoint effect the new powerpoint effect and to your other relatives so that's all for today so thank you friends